What's up, everybody? I'm Novo coming at you with another one. Uh, having a look at Ethereum, uh, we're at a we're at a crossroads and a pullback. Um, so, in a previous video, I thought we were going to break down and uh, come and test lower levels, uh, and well, I guess we went the other way, didn't we? And what happens when we went the other way? There was the breakout. I was listening to a bunch of YouTubers talking about this is it. We're going to the moon. And I thought, okay, general consensus is up. What's going to happen? We're going to come down. So uh, I got a few messages. Uh, guys were, well, people. Not, I don't know if they're guys or not. But people were panicking that <laughs> Ethereum uh, was crashing. And I said, no, it's not crashing. It's correcting. It can't go in the same direction all the time. Doesn't happen. When you drive from Canada to Florida to go to Disney, uh, you're not driving a straight line like you're in an airplane. You're getting off the highway every now and then. You're going the opposite directions. You're getting fuel. You're stopping for food. You're never traveling in a uh, straight line. And basically, that's what Ethereum is doing, right? This is a change of wealth from the impatient to the patient. That's all that's going on here, right? If you zoom out, what is the general trend? Until proven otherwise, let's see here. Uh, this is, let's go log scale and then auto. There we go. Ever since March, what has been the general trend? Trend is up. And now we're consolidating. We did a, bro a breakout. Uh, people are taking profit and it's coming back down and we're going to test lower levels. So where are these lower levels? Well, the first level is right here at 1424. The next level is right here at 1180. And now we have to try and guesstimate what are the odds of us holding support here versus here. Okay, uh, I believe that the higher odds is a test here with a stop loss hunt just below it uh, and then fool people into thinking that we're going down here. I think that's what's going to happen. Why do I say that? Because the argument of price is right here. Half want to sell, half want to buy. Above here, everyone wanted to buy. That's the FOMO move up. And now we're seeing the FOMO sell down. So now we're trying to figure out where is the bounce. Because the general direction has been above the 50 this whole time. So odds are we're not going to go below the 50. If we go below the 50, then maybe I'll start thinking about exiting and look at a different timeline, like the weekly 20. So where's the weekly 20? Weekly 20 is right here at 847. Yeah, I would probably take a chance at going lower. But right now, I'm not in panic mode. Ethereum's on sale again. I'm buying. Everyone's panicking. Buy red, sell green. Uh, let's see. Now, going down to the four hour, I'll go to bars. Uh, these are going to be weak candles. So uh, my, my position is basically waiting. I have bought this dip. Now I'm waiting a little until we see a change uh, to the upside. So we're kind of here. We're kind of here. We're kind of here. Uh, I do have bids down below. What are my bids? Hang on a sec. Open orders. I'm basically buying every 50, uh, every 50 bucks down, right? So if we see 1500, which we just saw, I bought. If we see uh, 1400, sorry, 1450, I'm basically buying one ETH every $50 down. And then, you know, it's a little extra scratch for the gas tank. Uh, anywho, um, that's all that's happening. We don't need to panic, okay? Um, so let's try and look at some targets again. 
uh, we're looking in this zone. I believe we put these down last time uh, between 1450 and 1400. 1395, we'll just do 1400. And like we, these are two target dates we were looking at. And now it looks like these two target dates are actually going to be uh, down here. Um, 1450 to 1400. What's it look like? Okay, so we're below the 50. I bet you the 100 or the 200 is down here. Let's try the 200 first because I have more faith in that. A lot of people believe in the 200. Nope, looks like it's the 100. Boom. So, it, you know, uh, right now on the four hour, the argument could be. A 1450 bounce right I was hoping for lower but anyways 1450 uh, on the daily we're in the same zone by the time the 20 gets there we'll probably be around 1450 um, on the hourly we're below the 200 so if you're trading the 200 uh, you're probably looking at the 350 Uh, where are you right here oh it's like rocket science right it's not okay so it looks like that is where our bounce is going to be um hang on a sec let's use a GAN box and try and guesstimate where it's going to happen so i'm just going to actually that looks pretty good already And then okay, so possible pivot right at uh, uh, February seventh at about nine p.m. That's where the mathematical pivot might be happening, and we can kind of see how as we go through this pivot, things get steeper, right? So we may see um, some sort of bounce and then resistance. If we go up, resistance might be right about here, lines up with this right here, and then we continue down a little lower, and then the bounce will be, I don't know, somewhere around here. And then this will either become a V bounce or it'll be a grind. Uh, and uh, did we know this was going to happen ahead of time? Well, we could because we had higher higher highs and higher lows, and then all of a sudden we had a lower high. There's your first signal of everything going on sale and to start buying, right? Depends on the type of trader you are. Uh, RSI and uh, money flow index are starting to bottom out. Um, there's no sign of a bounce yet. You know, this could grind like this. Uh, and the APO and MACD are below the zero cross. So this is all weak. This is all selling. And that's what's happening here. Um, actually, I really like the way this is playing out here. So uh, I think we're going to be testing this uh, 1450. So I, when I started this video, I wasn't even looking at the charts to see uh, what's happening. Bottoming out. You know, on the 15 minute, of course, we're going to see a faster heartbeat on the 15 minute. That's why you should not trade the 15 long term. Uh, I don't even look at the pricing anymore for Ethereum. I'm just complete faith in it going up. We're, we're heading into a monster cycle and it's going to mimic similar to uh, Bitcoin's 2017. So... Uh, I I hear and I read the panic and I do the opposite and I find I sleep much, much better. So now the next target, I'd like to see uh, 1450 and then I guess we'll see a bounce about 50% of this move, right? So the top was here. This was here. Let's make another messy chart just so you understand the logic. Uh, let's call it like so. Uh, so our bounce will probably be around 
what is that? Uh, 1600. And then we'll probably come down to about 15 so we can uh, build up steam to a new all time high. So in other words, do not become emotional uh, trading, become a uh, 